David Bay is an American photographer who was born in 1953 in Queens, New York. Bay is known for his large-scale art photography and street photography portraits. His street photography focuses mainly on adolescents and their relationship with the community, as well as marginalized subjects in society. Bay received the MacArthur Fellowship from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City also regarded him as the most innovative and influential photographers of his generation. The 16th Street Church bombing was a white supremacist terrorist bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham, Alabama on Sunday, September 15, 1963. Four members of the Ku Klux Klan placed 19 sticks of dynamite under the steps of the church attached to a timing device. Between 14 and 22 people were injured and four girls were killed in this attack. The four girls killed in the bombing were Addie Mae Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carly Robertson, and Carol Denise McNair. Carol Denise McNair, McNair was only 11 years old and Addie Mae Collins Cynthia Wesley and Carly Robertson were only 14 years old. It is not commonly known, but there were also two young boys around the ages of 13 that were shot and killed in outbreaks of shootings outside of the church seven hours after the bombing. The idea for this project stemmed from his childhood experience of seeing an image of a young victim who was injured in the bombing laying in a hospital bed. One morning, the image came back to him in a flash, and he knew he had to go to Birmingham. Originally, he was just going to see the 16th Street Baptist Church and to see the city where this tragedy had happened. Bay contacted the Birmingham Museum of Art with his idea to do a project based around the tragedy and asked them to be a part of it. He began going back and forth to Birmingham over a period of seven years and started doing research at the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. Bay also began to integrate himself into the community in Birmingham and getting to know the people who had worked in the civil rights movement. And he also met some people that had known the four girls in his research in the community. He discovered the two boys that had been killed hours after the bombing in the violent aftermath of the attack. At this point, Bay knew that his project had to be centered around the four girls that were already known as the victims of the tragedy, but also the two young male victims that had remained unknown to the general public until now. For David Bay's Birmingham project released on the 55th anniversary of the tragedy, he wanted to find a way to commemorate the victims of the racially motivated act of terrorism. These photographs are diptychs that are representing each of the lives that were lost that day. On one side, you have a young African American from present day Birmingham community. Each of the children are the ages of one of the victims of the bombing. On the opposite side, you have an older African American member in the same community that is the current age that the victim would have been in present day. In the words of Bay, I could represent not only the lives that were lost, but the lives that never, were never allowed to be. These are my sources that I used for my project.